okay now in this tutorial what we are going to see how to build our own content provider right in our one of the module called as SQLite right we have already database in our this module we have already database so I'm going to get the same thing over here means I'm going to write one provider for this SQLite app what I'm going to do I'm going to write provider for this SQLite app let me create can you see other and the content provider remember that content provider is the heart component of Android there are four heart components activity services broadcast receivers and the content providers there are four heart components of Android and content provider is last one for this course right you are learning last what you can say component of the Android so let me create the content provider right exported and enabled true and you can give the authorities if you want to access this you need to pass this authorities you can say com dot code cool dot my dot or say own dot provider com dot code cool dot own dot provider this is my own provider you can say finish and it will create one provider for you see fundamental methods are there delete is also there right from the outside you can delete it get the type means you can get some URI related now here you can create can you see implement this to initialize your content provider on startup means this method is going to be called only once when your content provider is going to get loaded this is the query method right which is going to return the cursor and this is the update method if you want to update some data from your app what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give facility to only read only I'm going to make my database only read only right how see first of all we need to have object of helper private DB helper that we have already written helper right in the on create what I'm saying in the on create let me initialize the helper say new DB helper right let me get that what we have used what DB name and other things we have used at that time okay in the main activity we have this let me initialize the helper in the same fashion in the provider right we are initializing the helper and remember that you would be returning true from this if content provider is loaded or initialized successfully it returns the true instead of this you can call get context right name of the database would be the mydb cursor factory would be the null and version would be the first so here you are going to create the object of helper and helper will help you to insert right and helper will help you to insert over here so you can do like this return directly helper dot query are you getting this thing helper dot what you can say get readable database helper dot get readable database dot get or say query right here you are going to pass the name of the table what's the name of the table what's the name of the table my table would be the name of the table right here we are going to use my table make sure that either you can either you are going to write this into the XML file table names column names types or you are going to create one class right which would be having all these things as a constant okay query method then you can have second parameter of the query can you see second parameter of the query is nothing but the projection that you are going to pass see I'm going to pass projection over here <coughs> is nothing but this then you can have selection can you see this selection 
right then you can have selection args right then last two parameters of the query parameter see this right last two parameters of the query parameter are selection arg we have provided group by having and the sort order we don't have this and this presently if you can check it right so you can provide them as null and null and then sort order like this and you are going to return this cursor to the content resolver see the scenario what exactly happening right what's happening exactly so your app this is your app communicating with the content resolver content resolver is communicating with the database and database is communicate SQLite DB and SQLite DB is communicating with the actual database so this is nothing but your app you can say your app is communicating with the resolver or say content resolver content resolver is communicating with the CP and content provider is communicating with the SQDB this is what exactly happening now so you have you are writing now this thing content provider you are writing or you are dealing with this thing you are writing this thing now content provider which is attached with the database see right if you check the manifest file of the SQLite can you see provider under the application tag there is an activity component and there is a provider component as well with this authorities right enabled is true and exported is also true enabled and exported both the things are true over here enabled means who is going to initialize the object exported means what who is going to access it you are saying that from the outside it is accessible and component or activity is going to or, or this application is going to create the object of this provider so this is mentioned under this thing make sure that you have created the my content provider inside your database app means this SQLite app this SQLite app wants to transfer the read only access to other databases to other apps so this is another app and this your SQLite app is giving read privilege to other apps if you know the authority you can read from the SQLite right now what you are going to do you are simply going to run the app and nothing that's it run the app SQLite right over here and try to insert data into the SQLite app right try to insert the data into the SQLite app now see what happens let me come back after reading or after having this gradle operation so here is the app your SQLite app SQLite app I have added few data like this Samsung into the Samsung or say Symbian and you can say this 51 and say insert I have added multiple records over here let me close this app I am closing this app right even let me clear it from the memory like this let me clear it from the memory that's also fine now I'm going to open once again my content provider app that I have written or sorry contact app that recently I have written or that module recently I have written contact app contact app okay see this contact app right so this is module is selected so from the SQLite I will deviate to the contact app over here right main Java main activity right so here right here instead of this URI I am going to provide my applications URI how see URI dot parse and this thing so what is the URI for that right what is the URI for the application that we have created let's go to the SQLite and the manifest of the SQLite will show you that authorities 
remember that authorities and the URI are same over here right but make sure that you are preceding that with the content colon slash slash you are preceding that with what content colon slash slash okay projection also would be getting changed let me comment out this thing and I want to say I want to select all right here I can say null because I want to fire select star from query what I want to select star from query okay here you can say name as my name right name as what my name get string sorry instead of this get column index this string we are going to use what you can say we are going to use my name over here you can say my name and here you can say my age I suppose age is integer right at that time we might have taken age as integer value see age is integer right so here here instead of this we are going to have integer number and instead of get string what we are going to have get int and this thing get age so here name and age you can display like this right name and age you can display like this is that fine name and age now your item should display right what your item should display our database value that you have created let me run this contact app once again right which should show me right which should show me what we should give me my values that I recently inserted can you see Java one these many values are there inside that database you are accessing your database values what you're trying to accessing your database values here you are accessing your database values might be some some changes there right here on the time we are not calling this insert that's why it is not getting inserted some we I think at the last we have written this insert raw and that's why this rigid value or the fixed values are getting inserted but that's not the question question is that how to access from the database right so what you did you tried to access the built-in content provider you accessed or you create your own content provider and you accessed that content provider right means you can create your own content provider and you can access the data as well is that fine so this is about the content providers all you know about the content provider is this so there are multiple content providers pre-written or you can create your own content provider settings you, if you want to get the settings data content provider is there alarms or tones content provider is there gallery content provider is there right at the many levels you can see the content provider right this is all about the content provider if you like our videos kindly subscribe our channel on the code cool